So hey hi guys and girls, today we are going to look on a condensed microphone, how that thing actually works, how good it is, how quality, how quality audio it produces, boxing and lots more. So with that being said, it's me Neville, let's get right into it. So by the chance going back into the box, we can see a nice picture showing the setup of the microphone and along with some features and specifications. So you may check out through all these specifications like unidirectional response rate. In the side we can see the condenser microphone along with some logos mentioning its features. Both the sides are the same and here you can see the color sections, different colors, variants of these microphones, new series, music professional usage. Yeah, here is the same. Then going back to the main top section, here you can see the condenser microphone, the setup itself and some details on the top. So that's all about the box covering. Here is the open lid, you need to open up like that. Going inside of the box, you can see nice tissue made up for the microphone to be stored. And here is a paper with a manual, so it's both in Chinese I think and as well as in English. So it gives a warranty card as well. So that's all about the box. Yeah, it's really good. Let's throw it out. So going back into the mic itself, that thing is really great. So people used to say that we need a phantom power or something else to power this thing. So this audio is shot or recorded with the same mic without both no phantom power or sound card. So how it is just say how it's just coming down below. Going on into the microphone itself, the body is good, stiff, shiny, and it's having the microphone in it. If you look properly, you can see it. A three pin at the bottom, so where you need to connect the cable. Yeah, it's rigid and strong enough, so you can't turn that thing on the top. No cleaning inside, it's safely kept. And there is some kind of labeling like BM400 or 800 or something, and which is the brand model. You can't open the thing, I just tried a lot. And there is a super ring to give it a firm touch. That's all about the microphone itself, that thing is really cute. Going on with the cables, the cables we are having a big aux I guess. That thing to be plugged into the microphone, that 3 pin jack. So you need to connect it right into it. And uh, yeah, it's a bit tight though, but yeah, fixed well. So it's a long, very long cable. And the other end of the cable, you can see it's the normal aux. The very normal aux, so you can plug it in your mobile device, but come used. You can use a laptop, you don't need enough power. A laptop can power it out without a phantom power or a sound card. But looking for a sound card is nice. And this is a ring that keeps the thing, uh, microphone, it can be connected to a stand itself. You need to press the microphone as you show before in the video sections. That's all about the microphone. Then going in detail with the quality, yeah, it's good. And there is no need of pop filter because there is this cotton masking. Just keep it on. It doesn't give a good firm look. But the thing is really great. No S bis sounds produced. And yeah, this is all about the microphone. Yeah, great. So overall, this thing is really, really great, and I give about a 9.8 rating out of 10. Neville Studios rating. So stay tuned, watch, follow, subscribe. It's been Neville signing out.